Heading into the final weekend before the midterms, a surprise endorsement overnight in the Pennsylvania Senate race with Oprah Winfrey publicly backing Democrat John Fetterman over former TV star Republican Dr. Mehmet Oz. I said it was up to the citizens of Pennsylvania, and of course, but I will tell you all this, if I lived in Pennsylvania, I would have already cast my vote for John Fetterman for many reasons. Winfrey gave Oz his start in TV nearly 20 years ago before the heart surgeon launched his own talk show in 2009. The Oz campaign responding overnight, writing, Dr. Oz loves Oprah and respects the fact that they have different politics. He believes we need more balance and less extremism in Washington. It comes as a trio of presidents, both past and present, are set to converge on Pennsylvania. President Biden will reunite with his longtime political partner, former President Obama, tomorrow in Philadelphia looking to give a late boost to Fetterman. Oz will welcome former President Trump to the other side of the state near Pittsburgh. Mr. Trump overnight returning to the trail in Iowa, where 89-year-old Republican Senator Chuck Grassley is facing his toughest re-election fight in four decades, clinging to a slim lead over Democrat Mike Franken. This Tuesday, you must vote Republican in a giant red wave. Mr. Trump attacking his successor after President Biden blamed him for fueling a rise in political violence, centered around Mr. Trump's repeated lie that the 2020 election was stolen. Mr. Trump also teasing another presidential run in 2024. And now, in order to make our country successful and safe and glorious, I will very, very, very probably do it again, okay? Very, very, very. With Democrats at risk of losing control of Congress, President Biden is steering clear of key battlegrounds out west, instead visiting typically blue strongholds, New Mexico and California, in an effort to protect vulnerable incumbents. This is a choice, a choice between two vastly different visions of America. Peter, uh, everybody's watching these poll numbers. Some key numbers came out on some of the Senate races this morning. What are you showing? Yeah, so these are some of the closest Senate races across the country, again, that could determine control of the Senate. Let's show you. First, these are definite voters, voters who are absolutely going to vote or have done so already. And right now, you can see for John Fetterman here in Pennsylvania, his advantage roughly six points. That shrunk from where it was just a matter of days ago. The Pennsylvania, Philly suburbs in particular are going to be crucial here. In Arizona, Mark Kelly with a three-point advantage over Republican Blake Masters. And in Georgia, literally 48 to 48. You can see Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker effectively tied right now. But the bottom line, Savannah, these are super competitive races. And at the end of the day, it's going to come down to who shows up to vote. Savannah. All right, Peter, thank you. A reminder, you can stay with us election night as these results come in from coast to coast. I'll be joined by Lester Holt and our entire NBC News team. We will bring you complete live coverage. Starts Tuesday night, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, right here on NBC and also streaming on NBC News Now. And of course, we're going to have a full wrap up Wednesday morning here on Today. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.